Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Beauty Pit Desi. I'm so excited to have a new video for you guys. So today I'm doing a hair tutorial guys because you guys asked me about my natural short haircut all the time and how I style it, what I use. So here it is people. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like and thumbs up this video. And leave a comment below if this is helpful for you guys. So guys, this is what my hair looks like on the regular when it's not super defined. But we're going to get it together. My hair is freshly washed at this point. It just has like a little bit of moisturizer in it because I did wash it earlier in the day. All the products that I'm using today, guys, also will be in my description box below. So keep your eye out for that. I do not have a haircut at all, guys. So... Please don't judge my hair. Like, even when I style my hair, it's not going to come out as popping as it could. Just so you guys know, also, I have a 3C, 4A type of curl pattern. So, I'm rolling up my sleeve so we can go ahead and get started. So, first things first, guys, I just wanted to show you the shampoos that I use. I have a shampoo and a co-wash. And I also wanted to just show you guys my conditioner real quick as well. So we about to grab this towel and we're about to get started guys. I'm going to use my spray bottle which is going to get all over the place. Yeah, as you can see I'm making a mess. But it's cool. My hair has to be saturated when I do my hair guys. Like really saturated. So now I'm taking my Mayel leave-in conditioner. I'm taking about three pumps of that. And I'm just going to work that through my curls. To give them some hydration, kind of start the curling defining process. I love this leave-in conditioner. It actually makes my hair feel like there's leave-in conditioner in it. Some leave-in conditioners, you put them in and you just feel like it did absolutely nothing. So now I'm just taking a little bit more product and working that just on the back and the sides of my hair and just making sure that my hair is completely saturated with product. Like I am very generous with my products guys you will see that throughout this video so guys hair mayonnaise throwback thursday yes i'm using hair mayonnaise as my second moisturizer i don't know like i have a love-hate relationship with mayonnaise like sometimes it works really well in my hair which is like right now and then sometimes it doesn't but i'm just using it right now because it's agreeing with my hair and now i am going back in with my square bottle to wet my hair again because my hair defines and curls best when it is like soaking wet. So guys, the Kinky Curly Custard is one of the options that I use to curl my hair. But today we're actually going to use Eco Styler Gel. The Kinky Curly is very, very good, but also very, very expensive. So I don't use it all the time. So I just took a little bit of Eco Styler Gel and I am working that through the back of my head. We're gonna just work in sections. I'm starting with the back. Now I'm taking some more gel and I'm going to bring that up a little bit higher to about the epicenter of my head. And now the top of my head. So guys, this circular motion is the key. This is it. This is how I get my hair to curl up so well. Like you could use all of these products, but if you do not use this circular motion, like your curls are gonna go absolutely nowhere, guys. Be very delicate with your hair. I'm not pressing down hard at all. I'm just rotating the my fingertips, rotating the palm of my hand over my hair really, really softly just to manipulate the curls. So now I'm taking some more Eco Styler Gel and I'm just running it around the edges of my hair. I always do this guys, but because I don't have a shape up, it doesn't look as fresh as it could be, but I'm doing, I do my hair the same way regardless, like whether I have a shape up or whether I don't. So I'm just finishing off my curls, adding in more product and more product and more product just to make sure that it's absolutely to my liking and making sure that we eliminate frizz. So what I do now at this point is I pat my hair down. This is only something that I do when I need to shape my hair, which it needs to be shaped right now because I need a haircut. So now we're going to take that blow dryer and we are going to blow dry our hair because we don't want any frizz and we don't want our hair to get messed up when we're putting our clothes on. 
So we're gonna make sure that our hair is completely dry. And this hairstyle with blow drying should last anywhere from three, four days. On the fourth day, it might look a little like, oh no, but you can get away with it. Now onto our edges, we're using Edge Booster. And I'm also going to use a eyebrow spoolie. Don't ask me why I use the eyebrow spoolie. I just saw another YouTuber using it and I tried it. And I just really like it. That's really what it is. I feel like it just grabs my hair really nicely. But it just works for me. So right now, guys, I'm just separating my edges from my hairline. I'm just kind of creating some structure, mapping out my edges, and trying to see exactly where I'm about to lay them. Like, there's a strategy to these edges, honey. And you want to try to do that without messing up your curls that you just worked so hard on. So be careful. Be very careful. Little bit of edge booster. Not a lot. That little bit of edge booster is going to be just enough for you to work one full side of your head. You do not need a lot of edge booster. I'm so late on edge booster, guys. Like, I was using Ebon's edge control for the longest time. But one day I just decided to go and buy an edge booster and see what all the hype was about. And now I see what all the hype is about. Like this edge control, it not only grabs your edges, but it lays them things down for like a good day and a half. So when it comes to these edges, there's a method. You have to take one of your fingers and you have to hold your edges while you swoop your edges. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to really create that nice circular wave pattern effect that we see everybody having. Because if you just try to take the brush and just swoop it without holding it in place, it's going to just shift. And now I'm just doing this little middle piece. I don't always do my middle piece, guys. It's really just a situational type of thing, but I just am doing that real quick. One, two, three, done. All right, so I'm liking what I see. I'm liking what I see. Yep, and I'm done. Mm-hmm. That's it, honey. That's the tea. That's how I do my hair. Now you know. Now you can do it. All the products will be in the description box below. Leave a comment if you use any of these products and if they work well for you so that other people will know. So you see I'm putting on my earrings. About to get these hoops popping. I'm about to do what I do. Okay, ladies. I'll see you guys later in my next video. Bye.